Hi guys, in this lecture we see about internal energy, first law of thermodynamics and uh, specific heats of gases. Now first we see about internal energy. In this case, according to kinetic theory of gases, gas consists of large number of tiny particles called as molecules. Molecules of gas are always in a state of random motion. Hence, they possess kinetic energy. Therefore, the total Ke of gas is known as internal kinetic energy of a gas. The average Ke of molecules of gas is proportional to the temperature of the gas. Also, the molecules of real gas attract one another. Hence, gas also possess P, which is known as internal P of the gas. The sum of internal Ke and internal P is called as total internal energy of gas. Thus, real gas possesses both types of internal energy. But in case of ideal gas, intermolecular force of attraction is absent. Therefore, it does not possess potential energy. And hence, the internal energy of an ideal gas is only Ke of its molecules. In case of real gas, there are both types of internal energies, that is internal energy due to kinetic energy and internal energy due to potential energy. That is, total internal energy is the sum of internal Ke and internal Pe. But in case of ideal gas, there is only kinetic energy. Therefore, internal energy of an ideal gas is only Ke of its molecules. Now we see first law of thermodynamics. In this case, if you consider dq amount of heat energy is supplied to a body, then part of heat energy is used to increase internal energy by an amount Tu and remaining part of heat energy is used to do external work at dw. If dq amount of heat energy is supplied to a body, then part of heat energy is used to increase its internal energy by an amount du and remaining part of heat energy is used to do external work by a dw. Therefore, we get dq equal to du plus pdv that is dq equal to du plus a dw. pdv is nothing but work done that is dw. Therefore, total amount of heat supplied to a body dq equal to the sum of internal energy and work done that is du plus a dw. This is suppose equation first. Thus, the first law of thermodynamics can be defined as the amount of heat supplied to a body is equal to the sum of increase in the internal energy, the sum of increase in internal energy and the external work done, dw. Okay? For a cyclic process, the change in internal energy per cycle is always zero. For a cyclic process, the change in internal energy per cycle is always zero. Therefore, closed integral of a du that is equal to a zero. Then equation first can be written as closed integral of a dq equal to this zero. Therefore, closed integral of dq equal to closed integral of a dw. Closed integral of dq equal to closed integral of dw. That from, from this equation we get q equal to w. This q equal to w means first law of thermodynamics gives equivalence between heat and mechanical work. First law of thermodynamics gives equivalence between heat and mechanical work. Okay. Then, we see about specific heats of gases, that is Cp and Cb. Cp and Cb are the specific heats of gases. The specific heat of a substance, the specific heat of a substance is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of substance through 1 degree centigrade. 
the specific heat of a substance is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of substance through 1 degree centigrade. In case of solids and liquids, expansion, that is change in volume, is a negligible. In case of solids and liquids, change in volume is negligible so that solids and liquids are supposed to have only one kind of specific heat that is specific heat at constant volume. In case of solids and liquids, there is only one type of specific heat that is specific heat of specific heat at constant volume that is Cv and this is due to change in volume in case of liquids and solids is a negligible. Okay. On the other hand, in case of gases, the change in volume is considerably large. Thus, in case of gases, there are two specific heats. That is, specific heat at constant volume and another is specific heat at constant pressure, that is Cv. First, we say about specific heat at specific heat of gas at constant volume, that is Cv. It is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas by 1 degree centigrade when the volume is kept constant. What is Cv? It is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas by 1 degree centigrade when the volume is kept constant. Therefore, Cv, that is specific heat at constant volume, Cv equal to dq by m dt at constant V. Cv equal to dq, amount of heat required, dq to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas, that is m dt at constant V. For m, 1 gram of mass of gas, that is when m equal to 1 gram, then Cv equal to dq by dt at constant V. Formula for Cv is nothing but dq by dt at constant V. Then we see about specific heat of gas at constant pressure, Cp. This can be defined as, that is, it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas by 1 degree centigrade when pressure is constant. Here pressure is constant, here volume is constant. It is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of gas by 1 degree centigrade when the pressure is kept constant. The units of Cv and Cp are nothing but calories per gram degree centigrade. Calorie per gram degree centigrade or earth per gram degree centigrade. Okay? Then we see about molar specific heats. Molar specific heats. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram more. Here, 1 gram more for molar specific heat. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of heat gas get away by 1 gram more. No, so this specific heat made 1 gram, yeah, 1 gram mole of gas by 1 degree centigrade at constant volume is called as molar specific heat at constant volume. I the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram mole of gas by 1 degree centigrade at constant pressure is called as molar specific heat at constant pressure. That is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram mole of gas by 1 degree centigrade at constant volume is called as molar specific heat at constant volume and the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram mole of gas by 1 degree centigrade at constant pressure is called as molar specific heat at constant pressure. The units are nothing but calories per gram mole degree centigrade. Here 
gram mole degree centigrade or arc per gram mole degree centigrade. Okay, he needs to look at the way to sell a multiple choice. Okay, now we see the relation between specifications so that is CPI and CP. This is important, broad pressure. Okay, relation between CP and CP. But when one gram mole gas is heated at constant volume. To raise the temperature of gas by small amount dt, then heat supplied to gas is dq equal to cv dt, and the external work done by the gas is dw equal to zero. When one gram mole, one gram mole gas is heated at constant volume to raise the temperature of gas by small amount dt, then heat supplied to gas is dq equal to cv dt. And the external work done by the gas is dW equal to zero. Then by using first law of thermodynamics, we get what? dQ equal to dU plus dW. Therefore, CV dT gives value CV dT equal to dU dW dI zero. It gives value CV dT. Therefore, CV dT equal to dU plus zero. Therefore, this dU equal to CV dT, which is suppose equation first. If some amount of heat is heat, some amount of gas is heated at constant pressure to raise the temperature of gas by dT, then heat supplied is CV dT, and the work done is dW equal to P dV. I want to tell you if some amount of gas is heated at constant pressure, at constant pressure to raise the temperature of gas by dT, okay, then heat supplied is CV dT. I work done is dW equal to P dV. Then by using first law of thermodynamics, we get what? CP dT equal to dU plus P dV. CP dT equal to dU plus P dV. Therefore, CP dT equal to what is the value of the Japan dU? CP dT plus P dV. Therefore, CP minus CV. Our CP dT left leg here. Therefore, CP minus CV dT common gada equal to kaila or remaining PDV, which is suppose equation third. Now, consider equation of state for one mole of gas that is PV equal to RT. Okay, and then differentiate this equation. This is suppose equation four and differentiate this equation that is differentiating equation four. We get what? PDV with respect to V. PDV equal to R D T P D V equal to R universal gas constant V I A constant I therefore P D V equal to R D T P D V equal to R D T which is suppose equation P put out this value P D V which value we are equation three number they put out kara we get what C P minus C V into D T C P minus C V into D T equal to P D V which value we get ya R D T R D T okay therefore C P minus C V Equal to H D T D T gets cancelled. Equal to Kaya la. Also uh, equal to R la. This is in units of R. So which is suppose equation six. Therefore we get what C P minus C V equal to R by Z. This is in units of calories. Which is suppose equation seven. Also from these two equations we get C P minus C V equal to small R by Z. Small R by Z. Where R be the gas constant for one gram of Gas. Okay, these are the relations between CP and the CV. That is, CP minus CV equal to R in R. CP minus CV equal to R by Z, which is in calories. R this can be written as that is CP minus CV equal to that is R by Z small R by Z, where R will be gas constant for one gram of gas. Okay, this is about that is. Uh, um, uh, relations between CP and CV.